Welcome to Living on the Ocean, episode 020, sharing a secret with Trimer and Twilight. It's already more than 20 years ago that I discovered this fantastic place with Trimer and Trinity. On our first sailing trip ever, we went up this river and anchored right in this spot. We took our dinghy up this little side river. I love sailing the ocean, but this place, the quietness, absolutely secluded, the noise of the birds, just the little bells of the goats, is a place I like to go to when I want to hide away for a little while. After all the excitement with Trimer and Dawn in the spring and the work also in the summer, by the end of it we were very tired and we went over here to recover our energy. It's very shallow, even for Trimer and Twilight, and with the low tide I had to take away rocks from underneath her. And we had to tie her up with long lines to keep her in exactly that one clear spot that we made. But we had such a fantastic time over here. It's not sailing, but it's out being in nowhere. We both love nature so much, away from everything, just the animals, the trees, the plants, the smell. The ruins of the old water mills that were built here probably in Roman times are still there and stop you from going up any farther if you want to try it. And the tiny little waterfalls like this one with fantastic reflections. It was a fantastic place to sit and watch the water coming down over the rocks. I could be here for hours, but after a good rest, we walked farther up the hill. On the top we get a fantastic view over the gentle hills in the south of Portugal. And the trees are covered with little moss growing in the clean air. Just another spot I could just stay for hours, looking at twilight there in the distance in the river. I can see the beauty in what's actually a very sad story here. The villages are being deserted, almost empty. It's not many people want to live in this hot climate in the summer. The young people are leaving this area of Portugal. But I can see great inspiration for a painting in it. And maybe one day I will do that. We've gone so far up the river that from here there's no more aids for navigation. And there are rocks underwater and it's tidal. And it's actually advised not to go any farther. But with the shallow draft of Trimer and Twilight, and a very high tide, we very carefully and slowly move up this river, looking for any disturption in the water of any rock. And I fully admit we both were quite nervous doing this, but the price for it? Mertula, a heavy reinforced old Roman and Moorish city as far as they could navigate their boats as well up this river, so far inland of Portugal. We didn't expect, we weren't prepared to see this, such a beautiful city, after a river so quiet, with villages died out. The ruins from all these Roman reinforcements and bridge are still there. But also a lot of the walls seem to be in perfect good shape. And we couldn't wait to dock up our boat. There's a tiny little key and just a possibility for us to go alongside the local tourist boat. And as soon as we can we start to climb up the hill towards this fantastic village. Feels like we've lost hundreds of years and we're back in time.
the beautiful white houses, the orange roof, the reinforced walls, the towers and the castle on the top. Inside the walls, the houses are painted with beautiful colors around their windows and doors and beautiful plants with flowers. We enjoy so much walking through it and looking also at a very old bridge. Cars can only drive over it in one way at a time. And the remains of the old Roman bridge that I filmed when we entered this place from the water. And there's a modern bridge that goes over the Guadiana River now. There's twilight laying on the little quay. We have a fantastic view looking at it all to the gate in the tower. And now looking back on it, after all your subscriptions, resubscriptions, likes and comments, when we re-uploaded our channel, we wanted to share this, this adventure that basically gave us back our creativity, that gave us new strength, that gave us new energy to continue. Thank you so much for watching Living on the Ocean and we hope that you subscribe if you want to follow our farther adventures.